Welcome. This is Arts Words of Wisdom Co-op Edition Game Review. This is John, my best friend, slash director, producer, editor, <laughs> uploader. And, and everything uploader, account manager, you name it, that's him. Except talent, yep. but he will soon be that too. If not, he's it. Damn it. Anyway. Anyway, today the game we're going to tell you about and give a short review of is Catherine, which we played on Xbox 360. Catherine with a C. Right. Although in the game it's both. In the game there's two Catherines. Yes. One with a K and one with a C. And we'll talk about that. Um, I guess first up, let's tell you about the graphics. Art, right, what did you think of them? If you like comic book or any type of anime, manga, whatever, uh, it's there. And I like it personally. So, I like the graphics. Yeah, it reminded me of the movie A Scanner Darkly a little bit. Or like, like Art said, like a 3D comic book. They were really well done. They looked the way... Well, you would expect them to look for something like that. I and think that the type is called shaded cell. Cell shade, cell shaded. Cell shaded, yeah. Cell, cell shaded graphics. Yeah. But it, it worked well. It looked the graphics looked good. Um, they weren't really super intense or detailed, so the game moved real nice. You know, no no real lag or glitches yeah. during the gameplay. It flowed normally. Yeah. We. Yeah. 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 I like story. Well, see, that's the great part about this game, which apparently made it very you know memorable for some people, and they were giving it such hype. The story can change apparently. A possible of uh, possibility of, I believe, eight ending. You want to give a brief overview without try, without giving spoilers here? It's kind of hard. Okay, <laughs> you're a guy, and you're dating a girl named Catherine. With a C. With a C. I always forget which one's which. With a C. <laughs> with a C. Catherine with a C is your current girlfriend. Who starts pushing marriage. Yes. You guys know what we're talking about. We've all been there, except yeah. me, apparently. But anyway, you're different story. <laughs> he meets this girl at a bar. Name also Catherine. With a K. With a K. Blonde Catherine, as I like to call her. And there's brunette? Brown? Brunette? Yeah, brown? Catherine. Her, his real Catherine his, is His is current brunette. girlfriend is a brunette. And she's always pushing him to work harder, get married, settle down. And mind you, when you see these sure two about. people, they don't go together at all. No. no <laughs> you look no. at them like, why are you even together? How did yeah. this even happen? Anyway, then he meets Catherine with a K at the bar. And, uh... She's a little, oh, uh, how do I put this nicely? Skanky? Corny? Slutty? She's Bear. all into letting him, like, be who he is and wants to be. Well, yeah. Like, the first, ca the, the re his first Catherine wants to mold him and change him into be an more adult. Be more of an adult, kinda. a responsible adult. Right, where he, be where he won't be going out with his friends every night to the bar, and which that's a big that's, part of the game, That's too. actually the whole game, but <laughs> him going to the bar. Uh... The second Catherine doesn't want him to change. She, she wants him just, to be the way he as is. As long and, as you love me. Yep. That's all she says. Yep. Just love me. I don't care. Every t every night you go to bed, you have a nightmare, apparently. Right. And that's where the actual gameplay, like the more of the gameplay starts. You have you have to get out, you have to escape your nightmares by doing these various but puzzles. You have to yeah, it's basically a big puzzle game. Yeah. It's, it, it's yeah. a big Nintendo DS game. It should have came out in the DS. Yeah. Yeah. It, um, no big plan. You, you, you need to escape what's chasing you. and um, Which is what your current problem is. Which is whatever is. your current problem of the day is. You're in the Nightmare World, everyone's a sheep, except you. But you to them, horns, yeah, you have sheep ram horns. Yeah. But to them, you look like a sheep. And you find out as the game progresses that all the sheep in the Nightmares are all other men. And they're men you meet in the game at the bar. They're, you're all sharing the same Nightmares. And you find out later that some of these men are dying, and they don't know how in or real why, life. Yeah. are dying of some unknown reason. Yeah, so the basic plot of the, of the story is that he needs to decide between the two Catherines, and he needs to find out what's causing the nightmare worlds and how to escape from them. Oh, and every time you start a level, they ask you a question. Some guy's voice. When, which you, later, when you finish the level. Yeah, when you finish the level. Yeah. But when you... When, what's, what's, what's the beginning sometimes? Was it some... It's between levels of yeah, the nightmare. And between it, levels, it's, point some of the questions point. are completely ridiculous, and it's totally arbitrary. And how it proves that you you you're on love side or whatever, and how it's no, it was good or it bad. wasn't love or good or anything. It, it was just, just like, are you kind of a douche or are you kind of a nice guy? And, and some of them are like, are you a douche or a big douche? Yeah, and, you know, and, and, and you know, those those are the questions that influence the, the, the ending you get of yeah. the game, and you know, and and mind you, there is a neutral. Yeah, there's a neutral, and there's a good, and there's an evil, and that has... And then there's even not so evil, and there's, like, barely evil. There's seven or eight endings, right? It's yeah. hard. It was very hard to even get 
Yeah, so a bad ending. So the ba- the basic the basic storyline is that he's trying to figure out what's going on, try to get out of it, and he needs to decide between the two Catherines, and somehow the two Catherines are tied to the nightmare world that he's in. I guess you know it, it starts off it's presented like you're watching a TV show, but you're playing the character in it, which was kind of a neat little thing, but. I thought it was really done before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So. Oh, and there's always drinking trivia too. Every time you take a drink. Every time you finish a, every time you finish a drink at the bar, yeah. The narrator goes, by the way. Well I guess we're, that, that's kinda of part of the gameplay. So it I was cool. It was kinda of cool. I, I, I learned we, stuff from I guess, we, yeah. wine, whiskey, cocktails, and stuff. Yeah. I guess we can get into the gameplay a little bit. There there's two basic styles. There's the the climbing, which is the main style in the nightmares. So it's about eighty percent of the game. Eighty percent of the game is trying to climb. And you're moving boxes. Or pulling boxes. And pulling boxes. Finding trick boxes that launch uh, and, you up, uh, blow up. While you're getting chased. Yeah, and, it's... Um, and it's it's neat for about five damn minutes. There will be frustration. Yeah. It, it, a lot of frustration yeah, it, at it's, certain points. It, it's neat for about five minutes, and then you realize this is the only gameplay in the Nightmares. Like, they didn't mix it up at all. They didn't come up with other puzzle games. They didn't integrate really cool. anything else in. And then the other type of gameplay is Art's favorite gameplay, when you're in the bar. Drinking. Yeah. And talking to women. You're walking around the bar, talking to people, discovering that they're the ones that are in the nightmare world. And, you know, there's certain aspects of that part of the gameplay. That it, it's neat, but then it's, like, ridiculous. Like, you'll get a text message on your phone, and the Catherine with a K will text message you a picture, a naughty picture. Yeah, thank you. Naughty Ma- picture. And Ma- naughty to them is Maxim to us. Yeah, because he'll answer the phone in public... And the picture loads, and you see it's just her in a bikini or something. And he goes, oh, shit, I can't look at this out here. I need to go somewhere private, which is... The bathroom. Yeah. And let's be honest, if you're in a group of guys... <laughs> dude, they show, come on. Yeah, first off, you're Who taking, a, you're taking that picture and going, hey, look. Hey, look, dude, I know it's my wife, but damn. <laughs> so the gameplay itself, if they had put other puzzles in... It would have been better. Yeah. A little bit better. It got, Mix it, got, it up. It, it got it so up repetitive, and they tried mixing it up with different types of climbing techniques, different types of climate boxes colors, and colors. And this and this. It, it, just, it just wore thin, and it got frustrating because the controls handle one way when you're on the front of the thing, but you can climb around to the back, yeah. which is kind of neat. It threw but me then if, if, if you're going like this way, and you're holding the stick this way, when he goes around back, he's going this way. It switches but back. if you let go of it and then try it again, it's going the opposite way. So you get all confused. Yeah, it's yeah. And, and mind you, some puzzles we figured out are really just by luck. Yeah. Because <laughs> if you try doing the same thing again, it doesn't happen that way. And, and in fact, to be honest, a lot of the ones that are supposed to be the harder ones, like the boss ones, were really kind of easy. Yeah, really I mean, pathetic, uh, even for me, and I suck. And, and really, bosses... Well, yeah, there's, like, it's, there's, no, there's no battles. There's no yeah, actual... It's not like you throw climbing. something at him and while he's like, days, you keep climbing. No, 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 no it's just all climbing. No, it's, it's, just, yeah. it's a lot of climbing. An occasional beam here or... And a lot of climbing. Uh, it'll change the boxes here, but and, really... And a lot of climbing. Nothing to scare the crap out of you. Did we mention climbing? Yeah, lots of climbing. And pulling. And pushing. Yeah, it, It's Tomb Raider it's with, basically, with a lot of climbing. It's basically you being a real messed up carpenter and making stairs. Yeah. You're a you're, carpenter. You're building staircases. Yes, yeah, yeah. that's all you're doing. Um, I need to get there. Yeah. What will you do? You make yeah. a staircase. You know, like, and I guess, you know, the storyline... The story... Of, it, what kept us playing it was the story. The story was kind of interesting to us. I just wanted to see the ending. Yeah. When you when you start digging into the story, it's kind of a... You know, there's you find out there's all these rumors about witches, and everyone's cursed, and that's why they're dying, and young men are dying because of this curse, and all the men that are dying are people that cheated on somebody, and since you're cheating on the girlfriend... And if you play the game, you know why I put that in quotes. He, you know, that's why you're cursed now. And then you find out, but it was weird because you find out that the waitress at the bar is having nightmares. Yeah, you find but out you everybody's see, having a nightmare. But you never see her in the nightmare world. So Would there, be must nice. be, there must be a nightmare world for women also then. Maybe that's the sequel. Who? Maybe it's called like Steve. I don't know. <laughs> you know, maybe. <laughs> Steven and Stefan. Steven and Stefan. Stefan Steven and Steven. And Steven. <laughs> it's just spelled two different ways. Yeah. I don't know. I hate that name. You know, anyway, uh, the characters. Uh, <laughs> One playboy, one naive teenage guy who's, I guess, reaching puberty and just got laid. And of course, he's a mechanic that always wears a jumpsuit, a jumpsuit, and he's infatuated with the waitress. Who isn't? Which is basically like every anime. Oh, yeah, and the that. waitress is always hot, which is always nice. There's a creepy bartender. Yes. And then there's you, an IT professional who looks nothing like an IT guy. <laughs> and then there was a playboy, there was a guy that has a, probably has a broken heart from his divorce or... 
whatever his and they never really go into that. No, nah, no, nah, they don't really go too into it. But so, um, so oh, yeah, back to the text messaging. Also, you could change what you say. You could be a a, a good person and say like, "Oh, thanks, baby, for telling me I should leave now early," and blah blah blah. Or you could be an ass and be like, "Screw you, you're not, you know." Which you're was kind of neat. Me. Yeah, it, it was it, nice. It gave you three. It gave you, I think, three different options. But that's what builds up to the point of you know what ending you get. Yeah, that that along with the questions you answer when you're in a nightmare. And it world. tells you right away. It's like, oh, that's bad. You know, it, there's a little gauge that goes back and forth. You know, I will. When you buy a game, you look for replayability and stuff. And I can honestly say it's replayable because there's eight, at six or eight endings. Yeah, I think there's eight. So I mean, you can or play seven. it completely being a dick the whole way through. You can play play it being Jesus the nice Christ all the way in the through. World. Yeah, I mean, so there's multiple ways of doing it. So yeah. that would give you some replayability. That's the only reason. That's now, the only reason. Yeah. Now, mind you, when we finished the game, we weren't like, oh, let's see what other ending we can get. We were just like, thank God it's over. But so no uh, ever would if you it. like that type of gameplay, let me put it this way. If you rent it and you played it and you finished that first game, you're like, you know what? That was great. I want to see the other endings. I don't even mind the boxes of boxes moving. And then I applaud you. I have other interests where uh, other games lie. Once was enough. That conclusion... You know what the story the storyline the storyline and plot line was good. It, it was it wasn't bad. It wasn't it, like a it, boring plot. It was the only reason we kept playing it. Towards the end, I'm like, wow, this is actually a decent yeah. story. I'm like, wow, you it know, makes sense. In conclusion, for for fifty or sixty bucks, for forty bucks, it's not it's worth like it. Thirty right now. I saw is it, it thir- maybe thirty? 30. You know what? Thirty is pushing it. Rental, no more than twenty bucks. Five dollars, maybe ten. Ten if you're desperate. I mean, it's basically a big puzzle game, and that's the problem. If you like puzzles, go for it. Yeah. If you don't, avoid this at I, all costs. I, I just think it, 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 it took, what, maybe 10 hours? No, I could have beat it faster. We probably could have beat it faster yeah. even, yeah. So, it, it was... Six neat. hours for a hardcore gamer, 10 hours for a non-hardcore gamer. Yeah, which, you know, for 40 bucks, 50 bucks, not worth it. Mm-hmm. And it was ever, it was billed as this big adult kind of game, and you know what? It wasn't. So, yeah. I, I guess, conclu- conclusion, if you can get it cheaper rented, and you like puzzle games... Knock yourself out. Game fly it. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, fly game it. I don't want to plug anybody. No, we'll plug it. Game fly it. All right, you know, Blockbuster, Redbox, There's whoever. Four around. <laughs> There's like a store. <laughs> There's one per state. All right. So anyways, I'm John. I'm Art. And uh, that's that's our Catherine review. Game's words of wisdom. Art's words of wisdom. With Game Edition. Co-op. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And get a sandwich.